and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm also super active on Instagram so you can follow me at suhani.gandhi. Now in this video I'm going to taste some vegan cheese. I'm going to leave my vegan story for another video um, but I love cheese and uh, knowing that there are so many cheese alternatives out there is great. Now the first one that I'm testing is this creamy original flavor from Bio Life. It's um, made with coconut oil and starch and vitamin B12 and the ingredients um, seem pretty good. It's dairy-free, lactose-free, soya-free, gluten-free and nut-free as well. Um, for me, the reason I picked this out is that it looked quite similar to the Philadelphia cheese which I love, the soft cheese. Um, so I'm going to give this a test, um, first by itself and then with a breadstick. Oh my god, this is really good. It's so creamy, the texture is just like the normal cream cheese that we have. The only difference is that I can taste the coconut in this. It's a very um, subtle taste, but it's definitely there. I've got my breadstick and I'm gonna dip it in. Is this, is this what you guys do? Do you dip in your breadstick in your cheese? I don't know if this is a thing, but anyway. Hmm. So here, I can't tell the difference at all. It's, um, it's just like I'm dipping it into Philadelphia cheese. So yay, this one is definitely a win. Definitely recommend. Cheese number two, this is the mature cheddar, um, which is made out of coconut oil. Um, again, similar ingredients, but the other one had less ingredients. And um, I'm going to taste a block by itself and then also a block um, heated up and melted. So we'll see if this cheese melts and if it brings that stringiness or not. Um, so here I am tasting my bit of cheddar cheese, mature cheddar cheese. Doesn't smell great. Hmm. Yeah, the taste is really off. Um, it tastes, it has a texture of cheese, but the taste is really different. It's something completely new altogether. Um, I can see it being a sort of alternative. I'm going to try it on a cracker, uh, melted, grilled, and um, to be honest, it's melted pretty well. I could easily see this being used on pizza. And I'm gonna take a bite. Hmm. It's really not bad on this. Um, it's got a bit of that stringiness as well. Not completely, but it is quite stretchy once it's been melted. And the texture's there completely. Because of the cracker, the taste isn't that strong anymore and yeah this is a good replacement for cheddar cheese actually just don't eat it by itself now finally wait no i'm gonna put this knife down i don't trust myself with the knife um finally i have the vegan fest cheese now you know what i really got my fingers crossed for this one because i love greek food um, and greek food is incomplete without feta cheese if you also love greek food then comment down below and Let's have a Greek food appreciation club. <laughs> Time for the taste test. So I'm going to cut a little slice. Uh, it's also very watery, just like how feta cheese usually comes as. And uh, texture, very similar. I can't tell the difference, to be honest. It's not as crumbly, but pretty similar texture. And let's take a bite. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this is so good. <laughs> this is just like feta cheese, probably not as crumbly, but the taste, the texture, everything is bang on. Wow. So today I've tried three vegan cheeses, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, and feta cheese. And do you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. 
If you've tried vegan cheese, then I'd love to hear your views in the comments below. And of course, do subscribe to this channel. Until next time.